Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome back. Talked about Traveler, where I'm not running into anything actually. But yeah, welcome back to Octopath Traveler, where there's nothing in here either. Oh, hey, I finally found something to fight. Uh, but yes, welcome back to Octopath Traveler, where I surprised the foe, and I'm trying to find Yvonne. I have no idea where that dude is. Uh, I don't freaking know, just like him, blast some dude. Oh, that was the double one. Ah, eh, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Uh, do that. Do a little bit like, uh, some of this. Uh, do I need to do a double? I don't need to do a double, so just donate here. Probably should have peacock danced now that I think about it. But whatever. Yeah, welcome back though to Octopath Traveler, where these guys aren't dead. But you soon will be. Thank you. Uh, give me your money. Gotta go find Yvonne, though. No idea where that dude is. That's all we've got to do. Also, Ophelia, you need to level up soon, is all I'm saying. You're starting to run out of mana. How's your level up coming? Oh, it's, we're going to get it in the next fight. I got, like, a poison berry? Hold on. What did I find? I saw it. I think it was, like, under here. Yeah, Poison Berry. Inflicts poison on a single ally for five turns. Wait, on an ally? Why would I ever do that? Why would I want to poison one of my allies? That sounds awful. Anything in here? Hey. Fire Soulstone Medium. Honestly, I need more Soulstones for the large variety. Uh, You gotta have a chest down here, right? Oh, this fight again? Um, just do a single donate here. I see. I'll I'll do this round. Uh, and I'll whack you once. A little defendy action here. Please don't kill anyone. Thunderstorm. Yeah, that's whatever. And now Cyrus. Let's see how you dance, Cyrus, with your peacock strut on Ophelia. What was that dance, Cyrus? You just like had your arms at your side and you just like spun in a circle. I mean, it works, so I guess I can't blame you too much. There we go. Now we can one-shot them. And Ophelia got her level up. Beautiful. Hello. Ooh, Ethereum chest. Sturdy Quartz Rod. This thing sucks. Holy crap, does it suck. It gives evasion, I guess? Oh, also, speaking about rods, uh, you probably have something, or we probably have something better for you. Uh, Elemental Attack 51. So the Sapphire Rod, then. Which is what I think uh, Ophelia was using before. Anything in here? Nothing, it seems. All right, so Cyrus has a little more elemental attack now. That's good. Oh, this fight? I don't care about this fight. This fight's easy, dude. It's like hyper easy. Just give your BP here or something. Yeah, you do your things. You do your bites. Get a little break here, and here we go, Ophelia. I believe, Ophelia. I think you actually are strong enough to one-shot this. Nice. Good job, Ophelia. I'm kind of worried, in all honesty. Like, sure, I'm a little over-leveled outside of Cyrus for the area, but I'm still worried I'm going to die. For some reason. Uh, well, I feel like this is the boss. So let's heal up and uh, eat a couple of plums. Uh, not grapes. I said plums. I also need to buy some, in all honesty. I keep saying that, I think, every time I get to a boss fight, because I only have, like, 34 of them. But I have medium plums, too, right? Yeah, I have 37 medium plums and 14 baskets. I'll be fine. I don't... All right, let's go in here. Oh, yeah. 
Boss fight time. Glad I saved. Oh, her name was Therese. Not like Amicia or whatever I said it was in the last episode. Yeah, don't... Yeah, Sensei, whatever. Professor, hello. You are so getting sacrificed or drained of your blood or whatever Yvonne's gonna do to you. You just couldn't leave well enough alone, could you? Oh, he's got his glowing red eyes. He is so evil. You disappoint me, Cyrus. I took you for a more logical man. Didn't I say this guy was evil when we first met him because of his eyes? Headmaster Yvonne. What do you intend to do with her? Uh, probably drain her blood like he's probably been doing with all the people around here and making more of those blood beasts, I assume. The girl went poking around in my secrets. I fear she cannot be allowed to live. And what about Cyrus? And so I'll finish off teacher and student in one fell swoop. Please don't monologue too much, and let's just get to the fighting. You'll not lay a hand on my pupil. I'll see you to that. You seem terribly agitated, Cyrus. It's not good for the humors. What is that? It's one of those blood crystals. Oh, what? You will taste the power I summon from the far reaches of hell. So he's hulked out. Oh, he is, uh... Yeah, he seems a little strong right now, I'll say that much. Uh... <laughs> uh, let's test wind, I guess, real quick. No one's weak to wind, huh? Uh... What are you guys, anyway? Research fellow. You guys work with this guy, huh? Uh... You guys weak daggers too? Nope, probably with the sword. Attack. 1100. Oh no. Okay, Cyrus is just dead. They just all focused on Cyrus. Absolutely awful. Um, let's test light real quick. Okay, he's weak to light. That's good. Uh, tornado, whatever. Okay, this is actually a little bit stronger. Okay. These guys are a little stronger than I was expecting. Just saying that now. They're not with the swords either. Um. No, no, not first aid. Vivify. Yeah. Get up. Now. Uh, heal more, please. Okay, just don't focus on Cyrus. He can't take three hits. He can't take AoE either. That's all I'm saying. Attack. Yeah, now we're talking. Um, I don't freaking know. Like, I'm gonna do this just to break Yvonne. I want a freaking free turn. Uh, scholar skill and a little analyze on the research fellows. 11,000 HP. They're weak to spears. Don't hit Cyrus, please. Uh, I have no idea what you guys are weak to. I just want a light heal. Just a light heal here. Just like a safety heal. Here, just do that. I don't know. I'll break you. Why not? Give me a free turn or something. Uh, I don't know. Are you weak to arrows? Hold on. I have no idea. I'll test them. Fire. Nope. You don't care about fire, huh? Alright. Scholar skill. Find out what else you guys are weak to. It was lightning! Oh, we are close. We are close. Yvonne's physical strength has been augmented. I assume that just means he has more block. Uh, I could probably collect from you. Uh, I'll just collect from you. 2,000. Not bad, not bad. And I'll steal from you, too. A healing great bunch. That's good. That's really, really good. Uh, I haven't tested ice. This lightning is mostly to test Yvonne. Well, at least that guy's dead. That's good. Uh, scholar skill. Analyze. Weak to stats. 52 thousand HP. It's not honestly that bad. This isn't gonna break you, but I'm gonna do this anyway. And I have no idea 
heal. What else are weak to? Um, does anyone want some healing? Just work on this guy. You know what? Just, just get a little, yeah, a little break on him. Yeah, this guy doesn't mean anything. This guy is weak. And he's about to be dead anyway. Uh, we are going to kill him, in fact. He is so going to die. All right, a little collect action here. I just want to guarantee the money here and the item steal. Uh, please steal. Oh, I actually got to steal off. Uh, and you will just figure out what Yvonne is weak to. Fire. Cool. Yeah, tornado, whatever. Ophelia, do your job and blast them. Please don't kill me, by the way, Yvonne. I realize Cyrus is about to die, but don't do it. Yeah, you got more physical strength. Uh, let's just do it like that. Um... Tell me what else are we to? Wind? Ice. 37,000. It's not bad. A little light heal here. Now, the problem is, um... Nothing Tressa can do can hit him. Unless I want to start icicling him. I, I guess so. Sure. Because, like, Ophelia is just going to heal everyone up again. I mean, Cyrus can help out too, I guess, with like a blizzard. Not for the damage, but just for like, yeah, this. And then Therian can throw this in. Intimidate. Oh, that doesn't. I'm not. Oh, he's silenced. Um, no. We need him to peacock dance. Like now. Please don't have AoE. Thank you. Uh, let's just heal up Cyrus so he doesn't die. Uh, a little dagger action here. Little, uh... I don't know, like... No, not this. I want to peacock strut. Perfect. And now we'll just use this. For a nice little break. Beautiful. Alright, Yvonne. I'm sorry, but you got no more friends. So, uh, yeah, knocked out um Cyrus once, but that's it. Sorry to say that's not impressive. 3,500. Not that much damage. Therian, you don't really do damage, but... Here, steal some SP or HP, I guess. Ophelia is the damage dealer. Here we go. That's like 13,000 and some extra. And then here comes Cyrus trying to like... This is going to do nothing, isn't it? Okay, okay, like 2,300-ish. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not amazing, but it's not the worst. 12. Okay. Um, That's a lot of HP you got, my dude. We got a lot of HP to break through, is all I'm saying. Or not HP, but a lot of guard. He might just die before I even break through his guard. I don't think so. I'm not going to waste a turn with Cyrus just to check what he's at. Uh, You're starting to run low on mana, so let's just like do this. I could use uh, Tressa's hired help to bring in clerics, too, I guess. Oh, this guy's weak to staves. Why don't I use staves? Yeah. Yvonne's losing control of his body. I have no idea what that did. But it looks bad. It looks really, really bad. I think it's bad. Because it feels... It looks like it's really bad. Um, you know what? How about... How about I do, like, another Peacock Strut on Ophelia? I assume that means he's about to die because he's losing control of his body, by the way. Hopefully you don't miss. Thank you. Uh, Let's not waste the money. There's no need to waste the money. It's not like it's a close fight or anything. Let's 
no, it's not close at all. I'll just do that. And then actually get a boosted one, and then this will kill him. Because good god, does Ophelia really bring in the damage? See, there was no problem at all. Sure, Cyrus got knocked out. It was kind of t expected that he would get knocked out. This is what happens when you're like more than 10 levels over leveled for the area, except for like Cyrus, of course. Preposterous. I am all powerful. I am eternal. Immortal. Yeah, no, not, not to like Peacock Dance boosted Ophelia. Also, lies, they were all lies. Masako. Lies, who lied to you? What's her name? It cannot end like this. It must not. Is he going to blow up somehow? Pull a freaking perfect cell? Oh, come on. I bet it was that girl, the woman. I forgot her name, but the one who was like, oh, I think Headmaster Yvonne is doing something bad. And then she like hit me in the back of the head and knocked me out. She's the final boss. Professor? You have my gratitude, Therese. You saved my life. Oh, Professor, Professor, I'm so glad you're... And she faints, of course. What have I done? A teacher endangering the life of his pupil. But I can reflect upon my failings another time. For now, I must get you to safety. Yeah, you do that, Cyrus. Oh, we're in the uh, ever-so-common inn that we always seem to show up in after these quests. Awake, are you? Yes, Professor. Therese? Therese? I must know what you saw and heard. You'll tell me, yes? Yes, Professor. One day I heard the headmaster talking to someone in his office. I couldn't make out the other voice, but they were talking about you. They were saying they would see you dead. And so I... came all the way here to warn me. Yes, Professor. I see you well, Therese. As your teacher, I must scold you for your most reckless and careless actions. Well, way to be a dick, dude. I understand, Professor. But one thing is also clear, were it not for your actions, I would have died in that dark pit. Yeah, have you considered being a little grateful? And so, as a man, I owe you a debt of gratitude. Thank you, Therese, from the bottom of my heart. Isn't she in love with you, Cyrus? But you must promise me one thing. What is it, Professor? In the future, pray consult someone you can trust before embarking on such on such a dangerous course of actions. How about you get the princess in on this, Therese? Have you considered that? I'm sorry, Professor, but I did learn from the best. I suppose you did, didn't you? Professor, I... Yes, you... I must continue my journey, but I will send letters. Yes, I'll include assignments to keep your mind sharp. Yeah, you're kind of being a little dense here, Cyrus, is all I'm saying. I look forward to that, Professor. But I think we've talked enough for the day. You should rest. Wait, Professor, the headmaster, he said one more thing. Oh, obviously it's going to be the location of where to go next, right? He said that once you were out of the way, there was a place you would go. I knew it! Intriguing, where might that might, or where might that be, pray tell? We always have to find out where we got to go for the next part of the chapter, or the next chapter. Oh, uh, you can, you mind telling me now? I appreciate your concern, but I will go there. I must. In a way, we are not so different, the headmaster and I. Yeah, could you just hurry up and tell me where to go? Oh, don't monologue, Cyrus. That unquenchable thirst for knowledge, bordering almost on obsession. I'd say it's more not boring, but it is. And yet our philosophies regarding the ultimate purpose of knowledge could not be more different. The headmaster used his position and prestige to hoard knowledge for his own foul ends. As an academic, I cannot forgive this. Knowledge is for one and all. We inherit the knowledge of our ancestors and pass it on to those who follow us. Only then is its true value realized. 
Headmaster Yvonne believed true knowledge should begin and end with him. He was wrong. Always remember this, Therese. Knowledge is a bounty to be shared by all. A bounty? Why do we talk about bounties now? The more of us that possess true knowledge, the richer we all become. Those who seek knowledge must never forget this. That is what we, I believe. And those who would use their knowledge for nefarious ends must be stopped. So, it would be wrong of me to keep this to myself. The headmaster said he was headed to the town of Dusk Barrow. No idea where that is. I see. Thank you, Therese. Do not worry, your teacher will not make the same mistake twice. When I act, I will exercise due caution. I can believe you this time. Please do, my dear girl. If you say so, then I shall see you when you return. You have my word. I will arrange for someone to look after you until your strength returns. Anything else, or... Uh, apparently you're going to make me just walk out. Okay, sure. Who's going to come up and show up here? Anyone? It's Dusk Barrow. You know where it is, Cyrus? Whatever did the Headmaster seek there? Okay, do we have to do the Detective Conan cosplay here? Judging from his transformation to that dreadful beast, the power he obtained was an unholy one indeed. Yes, I was there. I saw it. Is it possible that the tome holds not only the secrets to death, but new forms of life? And yet I find it hard to believe that transforming himself into a demon was the headmaster's ultimate goal. Well, he wanted immortality, is what he was saying. After all, did he not say he was betrayed? And the original copy of the tome is still nowhere to be found. Yeah, it's with his assistant, whatever her name was. I'm calling it now, damn it. So many questions remain, but now I know where I can find the answers. On to Dusk Barrow, and whatever dark secrets await me there. You don't have to act like you're going to leave town. We're coming back in here anyway. And so Cyrus left Stoneguard behind. Having witnessed with his own eyes the nightmarish powers contained within the pages of that baleful tome. But what do Yvonne and his cohorts truly seek? Whether he was ready to face them or not. Cyrus would find his answers in Dusk Barrow. Uh, cool. You see, I told you. There was no need. Oh, travel banter. Cyrus Professor, that monster. You speak of Headmaster Yvonne. Yes, he seemed just a normal person. And then some monsters are created in laboratories. So it is certainly possible to transform a man into one. There will always be people prepared to use knowledge for vile ends. I never thought knowledge to be so frightening. Yes, but remember that while it can serve evil, it is also the weapon we need to defeat that same evil. You mean it all depends on who uses it? Precisely. As while well, you see, the pursuit of knowledge demands virtue and integrity. Knowledge nobly won can be shared for the benefit of all men. I warrant that if it had been you who'd found that knowledge, you would have known how to use it for good. Such glowing praise you flatter me, dear lady. I mean, how would you use that knowledge of how to transform into a Hulk-like beast for good? Anyway, though. Um, hold on. Where is Dusk Barrow? Up here? Down here? Is that the one I found, but I never actually went to? Down... Yeah, there, there we go, I think. No, that's Stone Guard. Hold on. This is in Dusk Barrow. Where is Dusk Barrow? Have I seen Dusk Barrow somewhere? Oh, no. No, I did. I have seen it. I just haven't... I haven't traveled there, so I can't fast travel there, but I've been in that area. Uh, anyway, though, hold on, hold on. Where do I want to go next? I only have two left for Chapter 3. Uh, who is weak and who is strong? Primrose or Hannah? We'll do Primrose next. So, Primrose is in... Where are you, Primrose? Here. Noble Court. Oh, I remember this area. Perfect. All right. So now we got Primrose here. I gotta go find... Oh, wait. The end's right here. So we're gonna do Primrose next, and then we're gonna do Hanit. And then after Hanit, I think I'll do Therian's chapter. And then after Therian's chapter, I'm gonna go and find uh, some of the... um. 
optional slash hidden classes because I I believe they're near the towns, the final chapter towns, chapter four towns. They're like, they're in shrines near these towns. Obviously, I can't remember them, so I'll have to look it up again. But I'll do that after I do Therian's story so I can get the classes I want for my characters because I looked them up and I'm like, I already have an idea of who I want to get what. So that's going to be it for today's episode. Like, uh, for, I don't know where I'm going here. I'm rambling now. Uh, but yeah, like I said, that's going to be it. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed today's video of Octopath Traveler. If you did, please be sure to leave a like or a comment down below. And if you guys want to keep up with the series, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, if you want to catch more of me, you can go and check me out on Twitch TV. Anyway, though, with that all said and done, thank you all again once more for watching this episode. And until I see you guys in the next video, uh, bye.